I'm about to reveal a hidden YouTube niche that almost no one is talking about, but it's quietly making creators thousands of dollars every month. There's this channel called Mr. English Channel, and in just few months, it's skyrocketed to over 500,000 subscribers and 11 million views, all by making simple, podcast-style English learning videos. Their top video hit over 1 million views in a month, and most of their uploads still pull in hundreds of thousands of views. And here's the crazy part. These videos don't need your face, don't need complex editing, and can be made completely with free AI tools. Think about it. English is the most spoken language in the world, and millions of people are searching for ways to practice and improve every single day. That means this niche isn't just popular, it's evergreen. Once your videos are up, they keep getting views for months, even years. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how these channels make their videos step-by-step step using AI. Make sure you watch till the end so you don't miss any steps. So let's be honest, getting views on YouTube can feel really slow. You post a video, wait for the numbers to go up, and nothing. Maybe it gets less than 100 views. Frustrating, right? I've been there too. You spend hours creating, editing, and uploading. But the algorithm doesn't seem to care. But here's the thing. It's not your fault. Millions of videos are uploaded to YouTube every single day, so if you want your video to stand out, you need to help the algorithm find and promote your content. That's exactly why I use vidIQ. It's one of the best tools for boosting your views and optimizing your YouTube growth. Here's how it works. First, open vidIQ using the link in my description and sign up. It's just $1 to get started. Once you log in, you'll see your dashboard. Make sure to connect your YouTube channel so vidIQ can analyze your videos properly. Next, go to your Videos tab and pick one that's not getting enough views. Inside the Video Analysis section, vidIQ gives you a eye-powered title suggestions, so you can instantly improve your click-through rate and reach more people. There's also a Thumbnail Analysis section where you can check if your thumbnail grabs attention or needs improvement. And don't miss the SEO tab. It shows you exactly what to fix to help your video rank higher and get recommended by the YouTube algorithm. So if you're serious about growing your channel faster and getting consistent views, use the link in my description to sign up for vidIQ. Trust me, once you start optimizing your videos the right way, you'll see real results. Now let's jump into creating our video. The first step is finding interesting and viral video topics, just like the ones from the channel we're modeling. To make this super easy for you, I've already done the hard work. I've put together a Google Doc with ready-to-use prompts that will help you generate unique video ideas and engaging scripts for this exact niche, the English learning podcast niche that's blowing up right now. You can find the link to the Google Doc in the description below, so be sure to check it out. And hey, if you've made it this far, do me a quick favor and smash that like button. It really helps the YouTube algorithm show this video to more amazing creators like you who want to learn how to build viral AI-powered YouTube channels. All right, let's get back into the video. Head over to the Google Doc, then go ahead and copy the entire topic prompt. Next, head over to your favorite AI text generator. For this tutorial, we'll be using ChatGPT. Paste the prompt right into ChatGPT, then make one quick edit. Simply type in the number of video topics or titles you want the AI to generate for you. Now hit enter, and within seconds, ChatGPT will give you a full list of creative and engaging video ideas based on your niche. In this case, the English learning podcast niche that's trending on YouTube right now. And here's the best part. If you don't like any of the ideas, just type, give me more, and ChatGPT will instantly generate a new set of fresh, original video topics for you. Go through the list, pick the one that feels the most interesting or relatable, and that's your next video idea ready to go. Now that we've got our video topic, the next step is to generate script. Go back to the Google Doc and copy the script prompt. Then head over to ChatGPT and paste the prompt into the chat box. Before you hit enter, make a few quick edits. First, type in the number of minutes you want your video to be. This helps the AI write a script that perfectly fits your length. Next, enter the topic number you selected earlier. And finally, add your host's names so ChatGPT can structure the dialogue naturally, just like a real podcast conversation. Once that's done, click Enter, and in just a few seconds, ChatGPT will generate a full, ready-to-use conversation-style script for your chosen topic. Now, since our script is in podcast format, we need to convert it into a text file to make it easier when generating our voiceover. The script currently includes timeframes, which we don't need. So I'll ask ChatGPT to remove the timeframes and transform the script into a text file. Then in seconds, ChatGPT will generate the text file for us. 
After that, you can simply save it to your device. The next step is to generate our voiceover, and for this, we'll be using Eleven Labs. Head over to the Eleven Labs website, click Sign Up, and create an account. Once you're logged in, go to Instant Speech, then open the menu bar and click on Studio. From there, click Create a Podcast, and you'll be taken straight to the podcast creation interface. Now upload the script text file that we generated earlier using ChatGPT. Next, under the Format section, select Conversation, since this niche is based on podcast-style English learning videos. Then it's time to choose your host voice. Eleven Labs gives you a wide range of ultra-realistic AI voices, both male and female. For this tutorial, our host is a female, so I'll select a natural-sounding female voice. Do the same for the guest voice to make the dialogue feel more authentic and dynamic. After that, choose your podcast language, and once everything is set, click Generate. In just a few moments, Eleven Labs will create a high-quality AI voiceover for your script that sounds clear and engaging. Then, simply download the audio file to your device. The next step is to generate our visuals, just like the channel we're modeling. Head over to the Google Doc and copy the image prompt provided there. Then, go back to ChatGPT and paste that prompt inside the chat box. Before hitting Enter, make a few quick edits. You'll see a section that asks you to enter your channel name. Type in your channel name. This will appear in the background of your AI-generated podcast image, giving it a professional and branded look. Once you've done that, hit Enter and ChatGPT will start generating your podcast-style image, complete with two hosts sitting across from each other in a cozy studio setting. As you can see, in just a few seconds, the image is ready. If you're happy with how it looks, go ahead and save it to your device. This will serve as your main visual for your video. The next step is to get background music for our video. For this, we'll use Suno AI. Head over to Suno AI and create an account. Once you're logged in, click on the music icon, and you'll be taken to the creation interface. Since we only need background tunes and not lyrics, go ahead and close the lyrics section. To make sure your background music matches your video style, return to ChatGPT and ask it to suggest the perfect style of music for your script. Then hit Enter. And in just seconds, ChatGPT will recommend a fitting style. Copy that style of music, return to Suno, paste it in the prompt box, give your track a title, and click Create. Suno will automatically generate multiple professional quality background tracks based on your description. Listen through the options. Pick the one that best fits your video's vibe and then download it directly to your device. The last step is to bring everything together with editing. And for this, we'll be using CapCut. Head over to CapCut and import the podcast image we generated earlier into your timeline. Click on Aspect Ratio and set it to 16 to 9. This is perfect for YouTube videos. Then stretch your clip to fit the entire screen for a clean, full-frame look. Next, import the voiceover we created with Eleven Labs. Start trimming out any empty spaces or pauses in between to make your video flow smoothly. Once you are done with that, drag your clip to the same length with the voiceover. Now let's make your video more engaging with effects. Click on Effects, then select Video Effects, and you'll see lots of creative options. Choose one that matches your video's vibe, then drag it across your entire timeline. To make your video look more professional, Let's add sound wave animations and a subscribe button animation, just like the successful channels in this niche. Then position them neatly and extend them across the timeline. Next, import your background music from Suno. Trim any extra parts that go beyond your video length, and then lower the volume so it doesn't overpower the voiceover. You can also add captions if you want. It's optional, but great for accessibility and engagement. Finally, preview your entire video from start to finish. Once you're happy with everything, click Export. Set your resolution to 4K and download your finished AI podcast video to your device. Now let's take a look at our final result. Did you know that learning just three simple phrases in a foreign language can increase your chances of meaningful local interactions by over 80%? Today, we're exploring how these tiny linguistic building blocks create extraordinary travel experiences. That's fascinating. And it really matches what I experienced in Tokyo last month. Even just knowing how to ask, where is the train station? completely transformed my interactions with locals. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop your questions in the comment section.